welcome to Mr. ACAT Tutorials. Today we will be learning how to create this support fixture and Autodesk Inventor. Let's go ahead and get started. I'm going to go ahead and open up a new part. I'm going to start a new 2D sketch. I'm going to select the XY plane. I'm going to start by drawing two circles. One of them will be 1.5, and the other one will be 3 inches. I'm then, gonna, I'm then going to draw a line right here for reference. We're going to make that line 7 inches. Make sure that line is horizontal. We're going to use our constraints here up at the top. Make sure that's a horizontal constraint. Then I'm going to draw the same two circles at the end. So it's going to be 1.5 and it's going to be 3. I'm then going to go ahead and make a line up here at the top, connecting these two circles together. Make sure that little tangent constraint pops up, the little circle with the line. And if it doesn't pop up, it's okay because we'll go ahead and we'll create it on there. So tangent, tangent, tangent. And if it doesn't show up, what we can do is we can go ahead and we can make it on there by using this tangent constraint. This one's going to say it's already tangent. There we go. You see? Finish the sketch. And I'm going to go ahead and I'm going to extrude. Extrude that part. Extrude in between the circles. Make sure this lower part. Go ahead and press OK. I'm then going to create a plane cutting this object in half right here, a vertical plane. So the way I'm going to do that is I'm going to go to plane, go to offset from plane, and I'm on the left hand side, I'm going to click on my origin and select this vertical plane right here, this Y, Z plane. I'm going to offset it 3.5 inches. I'm then going to start a sketch on that plane. And I'm going to start by drawing a line right there where the top of the last object was drawn at. And it doesn't really matter how long we make this line right now. We're going to go ahead and change it later on. So we're going to go ahead and do that right there. And then we're going to draw another line one inch straight down. So one inch straight down. And we're going to go another longer line. Again, it doesn't matter right now how long they are. We're going to change them later on. Now I'm going to draw two arcs, a little arc here. And I'm going to draw a bigger arc out here. I'm going to also draw two vertical lines at the end of these arcs, straight up and down. You'll notice our shape right now looks kind of wonky, but that's okay. We're going to go ahead and we're going to use our constraints. Tangent constraint. Click on the vertical one, the arc. Click on the arc. Click on the horizontal one. So each one should have two tangent constraints. One for the horizontal line and one for the vertical line. And then we're going to go ahead and the space in between here. We want it to consistent. So it should also be one inch. And then the, the dimension the size of this little arc should be 0.5. The size of the big arc is going to be 1.5. We're going to add some more dimensions from this vertical line right here to the exterior vertical line, so the leftmost vertical line on here. It should be 2.25. We're then going to go ahead and we're going to draw a dimension. We're going to create a dimension from the top right here to that little dot, the midpoint. You might need to rotate this a little bit to find that midpoint right there. And then rotate it back. And we want that to be 5 inches. Move it over to this side over here. 
Once that's five inches, we're going to go ahead and we're going to draw a horizontal line connecting that line straight across. And we're going to trim off any excess that you may have up there. Trim. Now that we're done with that portion, we're going to go ahead and extrude it. Extrude. And we're going to extrude it four inches. But look, pay attention because, see, I wanted four inches all in one direction. I'm going to go ahead and make it symmetrical. This third box right here is symmetric. So it's going to be two on each side. So two inches on one side, two inches on the other side of the plane. Press OK. Now that I'm done with that portion, I'm going to go ahead and I'm going to hide the visibility. So uncheck mark right here, which is the visibility of that plane. I'm going to start a new 2D sketch on this back portion right here, this back square. And I'm going to draw two circles. One will be a four inch circle. Oh, that's the bell, that's the school bell. And then one of them will be a two inch circle. We're going to go ahead and finish sketch. I'm going to extrude in between the two circles on top and the bottom. And I'm going to go ahead and flip it the other way, the other direction. I want it to go outward. And double check, make sure it's not you're not cutting. We're trying to join. Make sure we're not cutting into our object. Make sure we want to join. Press OK. Oh, should be two inches. Almost forgot about that. Two inches. Now press OK. And then last but not least, we're going to go ahead and start another 2D sketch right here in the back again. And I'm going to go project geometry. And I'm going to project the bottom part of this so I can cut it off. And I'm going to project this horizontal line right there. So it should look like a little half moon. Finish sketch, extrude. Now I do want it to be an extrude cut. It's gonna be two inches. Press okay. And then that right there is our finished product. Our support fixture is done. Hope you guys enjoyed that video. Don't forget to like, subscribe, comment down below if you have any questions. Thank you.